Hey guys, what's up? It's Jim Murphy. Uh, I'm a co-founder of Wounded Knee Skateboards of Andy Kessler, Yak yeah, Kess. I'm also the skate editor at Juice Magazine, and I'm also the skate parts director for the Stronghold Society, and I'm an honorary member of the Alva Posse. So, we're in New York City. There it is, East Village, 95 Houston, and we've just hooked up with Out Mountain Switchel, and we're doing a video premiere Thursday night from 6 to 9, and it's going to be great. And we're going to get people together. They're going to come out. We're going to have discussions. And the video is called Stronger Together. And what it does is it documents when the Up Mountain Switchel crew came out to Pine Ridge, did two events with us out there, hooked up the kids with boards, indies, and bones. It was sick. Hooked up kids all summer and spring. And they shot a killer video. And they featured Bobby Puyer, a skater from out at the Pine Ridge Reservation who's now going to Yale University. So. It's a great video. Would love for you guys to come out and check it out. And come down here, and we're going to have giveaways. We're going to have a raffle. We're going to have a panel discussion. So come on down. And if you can't come down, go go to Up Mountain Switchel. Go to drinkswitchel.com to check out the video. And the real cool thing about Up Mountain Switchel, the American Heritage Beverage, they put Stronghold Society right on the label. So what they're doing with us is the profits from the sales of these drinks are going straight to the Stronghold Society so we can build skate parks on native reservations and also do all kinds of programming with the kids, youth programming, arts, and leadership programming. So if you can't make it, please support us with Up Mountain Switchel. It's a great drink, no refined sugars, all organic, and would love to see you. So, I'd love to introduce you to the founder of Up Mountain Switchel. This is Ely Key. Hey guys, Ely Key, co-founder of Up Mountain Switchel. Uh, we're here at the Whole Foods. This is actually where we're going to be showing the film. Uh, you can see the stadium seating behind me. And um, we just couldn't be happier to be linked up with uh, Stronghold Society and Wounded Knee. Some of the best guys that, that I know. Murph is the man, Walt Puyer, the whole gang. It was a pleasure meeting Bobby Puyer. The guy's amazing. You should hear his narrative of the film. We didn't even tell him to say any of it. He just came out with this beautiful, incredible narrative and story about, you know, the power of this partnership and, and what it means to, uh, to have skate parks on the reservation. So really hope you guys can come out and join us Thursday, 6 to 9. And uh, if not, you know, join us on Juice, Juice Live. And check out the video at uh, www.drinkswitchell.com. Stoked. Guys, I just want to thank everybody out there in the Juice family world. Any support you could give us would be great. Um, it's a great drink. We've been drinking them now all summer and um, just love it. It's a healthy drink alternative to the, all the other sports drinks that they're throwing at kids these days. So it's a good time. Check it out, man. Would love your support. And if you can be here Thursday, Thursday night, 6 to 9, over here on Houston Street. You can go and hit some curbs, grind some hubbas, whatever it takes. Come on down, man. It'll be fun. We've got a lot of giveaways. We're going to be giving out some juice magazines. Got a ton of those. I'm even going to bring down Kessler mags. The juice magazines with Kessler on the cover. We're going to be giving those away to some raffle guys and girls. So come on down, man. We'd love to see the skate crew here in New York City. And uh, yeah, come and show your support. And uh, thanks for all you do out there, everybody. I want to thank Bones and Indy, too, for contributing for the last 10 years to what we're doing out there. Big thanks to Walt and Allison, who run the Stronghold Society with us. And all the people who've donated, Tony Hawk Foundation, Jeff Ament from Pearl Jam and Montana Pool Service. For people who don't understand, the way we started this with uh, Stronghold Society was we built our first skateboard park in 2011. And that was with the help of Jeff Ament from this. And also Tony Hawk Foundation with Ben Harper and Chris Saka. And Steve Van Doren kicked down a bunch of shoes, gave us some money. And from there, two years later, we hooked up with Levi's Skateboarding. And they gave us 200 grand to build on top of the parks we built out there. We built another one in Manderson with the help of Jeff Ament again. So Up Mountain Switch who wants to step up and be a part of that family that's going to help build skate parks on reservations, throw events, get more full setups to the kids out there, get them a healthy drink. 
and we want this to be a long relationship where we keep building and throwing skateboard events. So thanks to everybody over the years who supported us and come on by Thursday night. We love you. Peace. Yeah, I just want to say big up to Scott Sowens. He's the director of the film um, and my co-founder Garrett Riffle and the whole Switchell team. Um, we've been at this for a long time. And big thank you to Whole Foods for, uh, for hosting this event. So, you know, we wouldn't be able to do this and put all this on without them. Um, and we wouldn't be able to do it with all the indies and all the delis and all the bodegas and all the other, you know, accounts that helped us from the beginning. We, we've been at this for six years, started in the farmer's markets and um, sold to all these up and down the street stores and Whole Foods out of the back of our trucks. and. Um, so it's a, this is a big communal thing that has got us to this point where we were able to, you know, partner with Stronghold Society and Wounded Knee and, and make this happen. So um, big things. This is a big moment for all of us. Like when a kid, you know, needs some input or wants to talk to me, I'll call him, send him a message. Walt, my friend in Denver, he'll do the same. So it's a big... It's a big support for the kids, and we, you know, they need it, so that's what we do. That's what Stronghold Society does, and that's what creating the skate park did. Just keeps those kids in touch with each other. Um, quality and sustainability, and how that um, works with you in your, in your partnership and your mission. Sure, I mean, it's really about Mother Earth, Mother Earth and respecting the land, respecting water sources, respecting where, you know, your food, because the Lakota were hunters, and the American government basically exterminated the buffalo herds, and the Lakota were always mobile, you know? And so, fast forward to now, they're on reservations, and it's important that we bring good things to them, and we've been running events, I've been a skateboarder for 40 years, and when we started this nonprofit, we wanted to bring healthy food to the kids who we were, you know, promoting skateboarding to. We had a bunch of different energy drink com drinks coming at us saying, hey, yeah, we want to work with you. We're like, no, we're going to give them water. We're not, we don't want any sugar drinks, you know. There's a ton of companies that could have went with because we needed the funding. But finally, when I met Ely and Garrett, just, it's just synonymous with what we're about. It's just about purity. Garrett, um that was going to be my next question for you, and it's a perfect segue. How does the philosophy um, that Merck was just talking about, how does that align with your, your philosophy at Mount Special? Uh, well, it's directly integrated uh, for a multitude of reasons, one of which is we've always sourced the highest quality ingredients we could. Uh, before we were big enough uh, to even get an organic certification or uh, or label our products as such, we've, we've decided since day one to source organic um, organic ginger from uh, countries that have sustainable farming practices. So you can buy ginger from a multitude, a lot of different countries. So one of which is is China, which has you know a lot of heavy metals in the soil, and it's repeatedly tested as as having um, you know lead in, in their in their produce. So we, we chose to work with people like um, great ingredients. Our packaging has always been sustainable. Um, we've never strayed away from glass or recyclable materials um, because we wanted to have as low as low as an impact as possible. And, um, we just launched a brand new product, Swizzle, and it's in it's in an aluminum can. And cans are great, they're cool, but they're also infinitely recyclable. So um, there's a lot of things we do. Um, some of the some of the partners we choose to source from are also um, uh, have great lead lead certified practices, water neutral. Um, so we we integrate as much as we can where we can. Um, also, um, on the other end. You know, and this is just by chance, but when I was nine years old, I was given a skateboard <laughs> for my birthday from my mom, who just came down, you know, five hours and surprised me. But uh, yeah, so, you know, I've been skateboarding for, 
I don't know how old I am, 12 years. Um, or no, tw 22 years. I'm sorry. I'm Inform the partnership that you have with them. Well, because it's pure. Because everything we do out on the reservation with the kids, we try to keep it pure, try to keep it sustainable. We build skateboard parks so they can sustain their individuality. And obviously everything they do with their products is sustainable, it's healthy, and we're trying to keep the kids healthy. So it's pretty much a no-brainer. And it's, and it's something that we've been waiting on for a long time. And I know these guys personally, went out to the reservation with them. They had a great time. They, they saw the look in the kids' eyes skating. They saw the kids drinking their product. The kids loved it. So I think it's a great partnership. And the more we can work together, the more we can get them healthy drinks and build them skate parks, the more lives we're going to save, and the more happy kids we'll have. Um, we are going to launch on this video that we've shown. And we, we, you know, we feel that this video is really powerful because it, it's it's in Bobby's words. You know, this is this is a Lakota youth that um, you know has come up through the Stronghold Society programming, and um, and it's been a huge positive impact on his life. So we're going to try to make it go viral. Um, and if you guys can share that video, you know, that, that will go a long way. Um, just spreading, spreading the word about, about what we're doing. And we're going to give you the tools to do that, you know, through our social media. You can follow us on, you know, Up Mountain Switchel. You can follow, uh, follow us on Facebook, also Up Mountain Switchel. Um, you know, we have our website, drinkswitchel.com. I mean, I think... Uh he said it great, uh, just sharing the video is a huge, huge first step. Um, and then just continuing to share about, uh, you know, whenever you're purchasing the product, whenever you're sort of living that healthy lifestyle and that sort of mentality of what Up Mountain sort of represents, just sharing that message out there on your own personal channels, I think goes a huge uh, long way. Um, it's, you know, we're always talking about working with influencers or, you know, people that have these influential profiles, but I think even more importantly are um, the people that actually, the consumers that actually share, because it's coming from you guys, it's in your words, your family and friends trust what you're saying, so um, you putting it out there is really the best testimonial there is, so definitely. And Murphy told us a little bit about um, the future of a few of the kids that you've worked with, they're at Yale right now, it seems really bright for them. What are you, when you think about the future of the youth that you're working with? What they can do, you know? So I think as long as we keep going back out there, throw events for the kids, show them we still care, give them some guidance if they're not getting it out, not getting it from home, I think it's a bright future for those kids because if you're a skateboarder now, skateboarding's all over the world. 2020, it's gonna be in Japan in the Olympics. So we have skaters now that can go any place else in the world and we built them a world-class skate park in Pine Ridge. Now they can go to any bowl, in, the, in any skate park, skate any bowl and rip it. Like they did when they come to Denver when we throw events, the kids from Pine Ridge show up and they rip it up. So I think these kids are gonna get to travel, they're gonna get to see the world, and I'm gonna do this till I die, so. This is, it's gonna be bright, it's gonna be bright for them. As long as we have more people caring. Please keep doing everything that you're doing. Um, it's super inspiring. Ely, is there anything else or care anything that people need to know now before they head out? Um, so yeah, there's one more thing. We had a question come in from uh, Juice Live. Um, so this is on live feed right now. Uh, so that's another thing you can do is share. If you go to Juice Magazine Facebook page, uh, the Skate Magazine. Um, skateboard. Skateboard Magazine. Um, you can actually share this panel um, and we can engage. And um, So anyway, there's a question coming in live right now. And G down there. Yeah, I'll kick it off. Um, like I said, my mom bought me a board when I was nine. I was, uh, I always, I came from a small town um, where everyone played hockey or football. And 
<laughs> I, I was too small to join the team, uh, actually, and uh, I had to stay busy, so um, my mom got me on board. It gave me an insight into the world. I would read these skateboard magazines where everyone was traveling to, on skateboard trips to Japan and, you know, in California. And it just, it built this, um, a foundation for myself, which later drove me to, you know, film a skateboard part and move out to California and skateboard out there. And, um, colored my world as far as, you know, skateboard culture is really intertwined with street culture and fashion and art and music, which you'll come to find. And, um, it just, it gave me a solid foundation for everything. Um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, skateboarding, you know, I had a tough, tough life growing up as a young kid, but skateboarding became that fuel to fire me through life. Got a... I got a, a, a college degree from Rutgers University, and right when I graduated, I turned pro. I toured the world with the Alba team, so I saw skateboarding around the world from Australia to New Zealand to Japan to Mexico, all over Europe, and I just saw skating affected kids the way it affected me. So right now, we fast forward to what I'm doing with skateboarding by giving back. It just drives me even more because it's so fun. And any kid you know skateboard, you know you're just 110% into it. And it just keeps you going, man. It's therapy. That's what it is. It's very therapeutic. You can just drain any negativity in your life. You go out, you sweat, you skate, you purify yourself. There's a lot of pain involved. And if you can get through that pain, um, it just builds you up as a man. Or if you're a girl, same thing. A lot of girls I see skate are just tough women. And they're beautiful style, and they got a great love for skateboarding. And it just, it's just the best thing for youth. And um, I'm 52 years old, and I'm still doing it like when I was 13. So, yeah, I love skateboarding. Skateboarding saves lives. But I also skate. I actually learned to skate right here on Bowery with uh, with one of my best friends when I was a kid, um, who was actually, he was here tonight, but I think he had to take off. Um, Bobby Walter, otherwise known as Bowery Bob. And me and him would, would just cruise this street right here and just do whatever you want. There's no regimen, there's no rules, there's no referee, there's none of that. So for me, it was like this artistic, creative outlet that snowboarding too, I mean, up in Vermont, you know, it was, it was snowboarding, but board sports in general um, was just like a really, really creative outlet for me, so, yeah, love it. <laughs> I skate still too, oh, for, actually it's, my, it's one of my main modes of transportation, so you won't see me like going out there doing anything that these kids in this film are doing, like I can't do what Bobby can do, but you'll see me cruising over the Williamsburg Bridge from, you know, Switchell headquarters to to uh, Whole Foods Market Bowery to come do a demo. Big shout out to Sam Smith Stevens wherever he is. He was the first guy we brought on. He's always been he's always been in the background, but he needs a shout out. Can you talk a little bit about what life on the reservations are like for Native American youth? Well, life on the reservations is, yeah, 80% unemployment rate, not a lot of jobs. Um, in South Dakota, when you go off the reservation, you're met with Mississippi-style racism. So it's, it's tough, and you have, man, there's a lot of alcoholism, there's a lot of drugs, there's a lot of drug cartels that come in with crystal meth. There's a lot of kids killing themselves, you know? It's, it's really tough. It's just like any place else. You gotta have, you gotta have something for kids to do. It's, it's just brutal. It's cultural genocide, you know. So there's this impact that Native Americans feel, like a, like a cultural impact from their culture just being ripped away from them, and it's just really hard to adjust. And a lot of people can't adjust, so a lot of people go to drinking. So 
a lot of kids and a lot of people have to deal with adversity out there, but not every everybody, there's a strength out there, a lot of strong women and men who try to persevere, and some do. But, you know, a lot of people need help, so the more we can go out there and help, especially with the youth, the better. Um, yeah, it's tough, man. Like, you can see with the pipelines right now, I just heard there's a huge pipeline spill off the Keystone up in uh, South Dakota. Like 250,000 gallons. Today? Today. And in the world, you know, I think girls at a certain point aren't, aren't encouraged. Although we encourage them, there's just something in the social climate that doesn't encourage girls to skateboard, you know? So it's tough. The more girls we can skate, get to skate, the better, you know? And Emily, who we sponsored, she had some friends on the reservation who would skate. But, you know, there's a lot of mom and dads who want to see their, their little girl get bashed up skateboarding. It's not social skate, we hook them up, even though they're super shy. First one to get a board, it's like, okay, we're gonna give you some independent trucks, bones, wheels, get you a wounded knee board, get you carpet in the bowl. And that's what the kids do, they encourage everybody. There's nobody out on that reservation putting any other kid down with skateboards because they're not at the higher level. So, yeah. More girls we can get skate, the better, I think. We just need to empower women. Still be living. You got Woodstock Farmer's Market. You got Black Line Tavern and Magic Mountain. That's our home. That's, that's my, my home mountain, Magic Mountain. Um, and then out in Cali, we got Lazy Acres, Lassen's, Gelson's, Erewhon, Savoy Cafe up in Santa Barbara, Rainbow Bridge up in Ojai. Um, if, you have, if you guys haven't been to Ojai, that is a beautiful little mountain, you know, to a lot of these places outside of New York City and Vermont, so um, just want to show them some love. Thank you guys.